there, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm like a few. What happened to my napkin here? I'm a few minutes late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Time got away on me. It did. It did. Hey, hey. Um, Roberta, hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to find me on here. Time got away from me. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't even know what I'm clicking now. I'm just clicking all over. All right. Come on. Get it together. Get it together. Ugh. How are you today? How you doing? How you doing? There I am. I see myself. I'm so sorry, guys. Oops. I don't even know. Oops. There's the sound. Ah, uh, see myself. So sorry. Why is it still loud? Let me shut the sound off on my computer. There we go. Because it keeps trying to start on there. Okay, Robin's in the house. Texas in the house. Oh, Roberta. Okay, hurry back, honey. Yeah, I don't know what it was showing. It wasn't showing a ceiling or anything. I don't know. And now my video's gone black. Well, you know what? I don't. I don't know. I give. I give up. I give up. I don't know what to think. What? How to stop this blackness? They say no sound. I didn't put no sound, and um, it still don't work. Not a lot of people are on. Man is on. Teresa is on, or she's showing on. I know I missed a couple of people. Um, if I missed you, I'm so sorry. I'm going to reload this. See if I can't. Okay, it's back for a minute. We'll see what happens. We'll see what ha happens. Sorry, sorry. All right. So I have this little craft I've been wanting to do. Hopefully Mo and then we'll get here. I sent them a thing and there goes again again black. You know what? I give. I give up. I'm 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 done. I'm done with it. I don't know. I don't understand. I'll just do the best I can over here. So I got this here container here. Let me pull this stuff up. From the Dollar Tree. It's just I tried to get one of the glass uh, butter dishes, but they didn't have any. And I was like, what can I use? What can I use? So I chose to use this. Okay. We're going to decoupage it. We're going to decoupage this. And also, I have these little jars. And I just love them. I think they're beautiful. Okay. I got them from the Dollar Tree as well. I got three different ones. I don't know that I like this bow. We might change it out. So... If I set them in here, it hides the design on the jar almost all of it. So I was thinking these little corks came in them. I don't want, I can't really use them. So I was thinking using them in the bottom of here, um, gluing them down, you know, kind of center. And I got myself some wood and I was going to, uh, well, when I put it in the first time, it fit no problem. I was going to glue that down and then put them in, and it helps raise it up, and you can see more of the design. Okay, so that, that's my idea. We'll paint these white. All right. So for now, though, we're going to decoupage. And I just have this little napkin. I believe um, Roberta sent it to me, and it's a wild, just you know, like wildflowers growing, and I pray I have enough um, to do the container because this is the only one I have. So, that's the plan. And I don't know how it got all so dang wrinkled, but it did. And what a time I had cutting that wood because I had to get a little piece to add to the end of it because it wasn't quite long enough. So we're going to use, I'm going to stand this up maybe. Um, maybe. 
There. I'm going to stand that up. And this actually has little uh, rabbits on it, too, which is fine. You can't really see them that well. I, was, I just want something that had small flowers on it. So I'm going to cut it right here. Because I'm going to cut it to the size that I need, and I might have to patch it in. And trying to see where you know what we're just we're going to patch it. Um. You probably couldn't even tell, to be honest. Okay. So, let's get the old Mod Podge. So, Robin, Robin is my only viewer. <laughs> Thank you, Robin, for your support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I will not be live on Monday. The girl that... Um, The girl that uh, works Monday, Tuesday has an appointment that she made before she found out that she would be. Why am I dipping my brush in paint? I don't know why. All right, let's move this. Let's paint these since I already put the paint on my brush. Let's paint this white. Um, she had a doctor's appointment before she found out that... Um, she would be working over the summer. She thought she was going to be off. So they asked me if I would work on the Monday. So it gives me a couple of extra hours. Um, but I'll tell you something, Robin. There's Mo New York in the house. I'll tell you something. It's dead there. It is so boring. I, I just... I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do that for. It, it's worse than it's ever been. Like the kids have intercession. They say some of them, not all of them, some of them still have class, but it's such low enrollment for the intercession apparently this year. It's like a ghost town. It is like a ghost town, and I'm like falling asleep there. And you feel like you've been there for. A week or more from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock because it's just, it's too quiet. You can only clean so much and you can only, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long they're going to keep us on simply because the business isn't there. They're not even making enough to pay. The uh, one, two, five, six of us that are working out of I don't know how many a lot. So I don't know how long it's going to last. I really don't know. Never used to be like that. I've been there almost eight years, and the summertime was never like even the management team is saying. Wow, it's it's extremely quiet this year. Gosh, it wasn't that quiet during COVID. So I, don't, I don't know. It's just very boring. I know that. I don't look forward to going. If financially I could have taken the summer off, I would have. But it's so hard to collect unemployment here. They give you such a runaround, and it's not close to me. Little Rock. You spend more than a day on the phone because it's busy, 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 and you can't get through. It's ridiculous. Their unemployment, uh, the way they do the unemployment here, I've never seen anything so unorganized. Un it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I I've never seen anything like that in my life. I tried to. to uh, 
claim unemployment over Christmas time. I never did get through to the, the number we're supposed to call. I tried days and days, never got through. So I never did end up getting any unemployment. And when I went back to work, apparently from what everybody else was saying that works there, they didn't either. They couldn't get through or they did get through and they waited and waited and they didn't end up getting anything. What's, what's the point? I don't know. So I'm venting. <laughs> I'm venting, I'm venting. Roberta had to leave. Um, she said she'd be back. She said she'd be back. She was in the middle of something, and she just popped on real quick just to say hi and tell me that she would be back. So she's not actually here. She might be, like, she might have left it on, but she's not physically there. And I don't know if Teresa's napping or she's watching somebody out. Oops, I have no idea. I know she's online, but she, I don't know. She might be busy with the family or the kids or who knows. That's dry. So we've got those two pieces of wood dry. So like I was saying, I wanted um, the glass butter dish from the Dollar Tree, and they didn't have it. I couldn't get it. So I had to compromise and figure out what I can use in place of that. So I picked this, okay? The reason why I wanted the glass butter dish was simply because it was see-through. It was glass. And I have these beautiful little bottles. And you would have been able to see through to see the design. Well, now the design is pretty much lost. You can't see much of it. So I'm putting a piece of wood in the bottom to raise it up. That we can see some of the design. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. That, that's my goal. So that's why we've got this. And these little bottles came with these little corks in the top, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put utilize them, and I'm going to put them in the bottom. I know, Robin, you already heard this. I'm sorry. Mo wasn't here. I'm going to glue them in the bottom center and spread them to help elevate this piece of wood up. So when we put the um, – and when I first – put the wood in it fit no problem and now it's seeming like it's a little snug -roonies. and I had to get another piece so it's not going to be exactly perfumundo so now when I place the bottles in you're not going to see the full design but you will be able to see a lot of the design on the, on the, on the jars so that's how I'm coming up up with that. Let's see. Let's see, this one's a little wonky. That's what I was afraid of. I think I'm going to have to put a little something. Let's see. Where's the. Oh, that's why. Because I don't have them spread out enough. This, this one needs to come over this way more to support this piece. And it should be better. Should be. Yeah, it is. All right, so that's the plan. That's the plan. And I will glue this stuff in. But we're going to decoupage on here, okay? So I have this in here just to hold it, tilt it up so I can decoupage it. And then I happen to tip my brush into paint instead of the glue. There's Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Teresa, how are you? 
I feel like I know that I saw you guys Monday, Tuesday, and uh, but you know what? I, I I just I feel like I haven't seen you guys in in a while. Virginia, is that you, Virginia, Miss Virginia? Is that Miss Virginia from work? If it is, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. All right. I'm I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm just going to use a sponge to uh, apply the Mod Podge, okay? And then we're, I'm just going to do one side at a time. And we'll see about the edge here. I don't know if I'm going to paint it or, you know, what I'm going to do. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. We will see. So that is supposed to hold my thing up. Oops. I hope, hope I have enough glue on there. Let's try this and see what happens. I cut a piece out and it's just a, like a little wildflower kind of pattern that I'm using with the, and we're going to have to piece it, okay? We're going to have to piece it all in as best that we can. And it's okay. I'm just lightly rubbing it with my finger. If we have to, we'll add some heat to it after to get any little wrinkles out. Okay, so there's one. Now, I'm get this one on here. And actually, I think what I might do is I might just do right Right up there. I think I might do right up there. And it doesn't look like I got enough glue all the way down. I'm going to have to trim a piece of this off because it is too wide. There we go, it goes up there better. That's just need a little bit more glue on the edge here. And then I'm gonna trim this on the side and on the bottom here. And if we have to after, we'll take, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, sanding lock to it, my gator, and we will make it better. But I want it to dry first so that I'm not pulling it or I'm not doing it wet. This piece here. Oh, this piece here wants to stand up too. A bit of glue on there as well. I'm just going to put some on the bottom here just to kind of help, you know, pull it over so it doesn't have like a lip. I'm just pouring some glue into my lid is what I'm doing. I think she was one. Wondering, what is she doing over there? That's what I was doing. I want to help pull this. I'm just going to kind of wipe it off the bottom here where we don't need it. Okay. So. For now, that's how it looks. Not too shabby, not too shabby. You can't really tell where I joined it. Um, it's 
blending in nicely. It's blending in very nicely, so that's good. You can't really tell. So now we'll do the other side and then we'll do the ends. We'll do the other side and then the ends. And I hope this, in my mind, it's so cute. But, you know, <laughs> who knows, right? You get visions in your mind about what things are going to look like. And then when you do it, it's like, well, that didn't turn out like I expected at all. What the heck? So, let me see. I am, it's got little notches up under here, so I'm trying to. Trim it off so that it it moves nicely. There we go. Okay, that one that turned out perfect. That turned out perfect. Don't do that. I want a straight cut. Don't do that. So my husband was going out today and then he noticed a piece of metal sticking out of his tire that's another reason part of the reason why i was late we had to get his car over to the thing and he was like i might need you to come and pick me up if my car's not ready if they got you know oh, I'm like, oh my god i already because i had just asked him what time are you going out today to go with the with the guys you know and so that I could do, do me do the event notice, and I had just done the event notice, like not long. And then he's like, "I'm gonna have." I'm like, "Are you kidding me? I just did my event notice. Like I asked you on purpose, and I told you why." Men sometimes, sometimes I don't know. They just don't think all the time. They think they do, but they don't. So that's why I was five minutes late. I'm sorry, guys. Like, just dealing with all of that stuff. You know. Okay. This side turned out a little more wrinkly, maybe because, you know, it's one full sheet. Like I said, we'll take the heat to it. And the heat, a lot of times, shrinks out a lot of the wrinkles. So... I keep forgetting I moved my glue over here. Uh oh. Do not stick. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. Okay, so again, I'm just pulling it down. Try and wrap it around a little bit here. So now on this side. Come on, stick down, please. Popping up over there. Yeah, I'm going to take my dryer to it. Oh. I need three hands for this. Three hands. The glue didn't um, hold up there very well underneath. So I'm just kind of pushing it in there with the sponge to try and get it to hold down under there. Thank 
You gotta be careful because it doesn't even plastic. I don't know how hard it can stand it with the heat gun. Okay, I think the sides are pretty dry. I know it's got little bunnies on it, but that's okay. I've got all kinds of little bunny foo-foos in my yard jumping around. and I watched one the other day out there. It was just having a blast playing by itself out there. And then um, the dogs were outside, but they couldn't see it. They were out in the backyard, and I was watching it from my kitchen window, which points to the front of the house. And I was watching him. It was early one morning. And then one of the dogs barked. I guess they saw something. Like, they couldn't see him because they weren't, they couldn't see where he was at all. Um, but one of the dogs barked and uh, kind of scared him, and he ran, he hopped off. It was really cute watching him jump all around out there. He was having a grand old time, that little bunny. I like watching them, especially when there's more than one. They're so cute. All right, so let's just get this on the end here. That's some more Mod Podge. It's a little over on the end, and I want to make sure I get it up under these little nooks here so that it adheres to it. I don't want it to stick to my fingers. It blew up my fingers. I'm just going to put a little snip there. And a little, little snip here. So these little things just kind of pop up. I can find the little snips now. There we go. Just to help it go down more. There we go. Oh, there's a little snip there too, huh? The ones on the corner as well. So I'm just going to put a little snip so I can bring it around without causing problems. Now, let's see, I don't want that to overlap that much just to the edge there. So, cut that piece off and I'm going to trim this here. Oops. There we go. And then we'll add to do. I need more glue. This sponge is soaking, soaking my glue up. I didn't put a lot in. In now. Oops. Okay. And I don't know if I'm going to leave those ribbons on uh, the jars or if I'm going to put some jute rope around the top instead. I'm, I don't know, I'm not too fancy on those ribbons that they put on there. They don't look, they don't look good to me, but that's me. That's just me. I'm gonna dry this one. So when I set it up to do the other end, it's not gonna stick to the table.
That should be good. Good. So that's that end. That's that end. You got more, more black bears. Hey, Minnie. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Bruce. So good to, to see you. I hope you're doing well. We're birding. You got another black bear? You be careful. Your pupper's there. Roberta's dog tried to go after the black bear last time, I believe it was. Go over a bit in this one. I think I'm going to cut it up at the top because the bottom has a nice straight edge on it in this top part. So. Snip right there, and then another snip. Right there, that one kind of went crooked. And then here, and slant. All right, now we're going to put more glue up here. You have black bears in Jonesboro, really? Oh my gosh, Roberta, at least three. Watch your puppers, honey, please. They can be so destructive if they get angry. Please, please, please be careful. I bet it did. It would have scared the poop out of me, too. What a, oh my gosh. And then your dog went, he's going to be your hero. Try to. Poor little Puppers was just protecting his family there. All right, so we can trim some off of here now. Just bring it around. Around. I should have done the ends first so you could tuck the, you wouldn't have noticed so much. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just going to smooth these edges down. I might trim just a bit off the bottom here. Doesn't go over oh over the little feetsies. Just kind of sealing it with the Mod Podge. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, really pull it. Um, so I don't want to rip the napkin. So I think if I just pat it, use up the glue in my lid here for it. All 
All right. I think we're good. I think we're good there. And if I decide, I don't know, I might paint that top trim. We'll see. The white goes with it, though, because of the background, right? And this napkin I got from Miss Roberta. Oh, yeah. For those that missed it. Good. What do y'all think? I think it's cute. You like that? I think it's cute. I know it's got little bunnies on it, but that's okay. I think it turned out cute. I will, Roberta. Thank you so much. It's too kind of you. All right. So. Like I said, we're going to end up putting these because it sits too low from what I want it. And it came with the, the little bottles came with these little cork tops. And we're going to use those as feet in, inside of here. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to glue them in. I'm just going to make sure I've got them all placed where they need to be. And we're using this pieces of wood that I painted white as like a riser, okay? That's what we're doing. Riser, riser. All right, this piece ain't perfect, but you know what? It's okay. So we're going to put some glue on here. We're going to just set that in there. All right. Just to give it support. That's all they're for. They don't have to be perfect. They're just to give the wood support underneath there, okay? So I'm going to put glue on top of these first two. And then get this one to go in. Nice and tight. Like so. See? Okay. And then we're going to put this one in. I think this is the straighter edge. And we want this one. This one's not a perfect fit. It was as close as I could get it. But it's all right. It'll work. It will work. I cut a little short on the end. Why doesn't it want to stick? Because I didn't put glue on that one. Oh, Lord, help me. I was like, why isn't that sticking? Why am I having such a hard time? Ugh. How silly, right? How silly, Cindy. How silly. Right. Now I think I put it in the wrong way, but it's fine. It's not like you're going to see down inside of it. And actually, you know, I have an idea. Let me grab it. You're not even going to see that board. If I still have some more, that is. <sighs> Oh, I 
string and I put it down. I don't know silly of me. It might be too thin though, that one. It's just, uh, what do you call it? Anyway, I've got this grass. We can put that. It looks like grass. We could just put that right in the bottom. We could place that right in the bottom. Let's do it this way. Not quite. A little too thick. So, get my garbage can. There, that fits better. And then we'll just cut a piece off the end here. I forgot I had this stuff. I don't even remember where I got them. There we go, it just looks like grass in there, which is perfect, right? Just, I think this piece I should put underneath to hold it down. See, looks like grass. Hey, Luann, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you all. Who am I missing? I'm missing somebody else. Who am I missing? Minnie's here. I'm missing somebody. I'm scrolling on my phone. I'm sorry. Ruth is here. Oh, that's Ruth. I think that's Ruth's picture that I'm thinking with somebody else. That's Ruth and her puppy. Hang on. Thank you. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's Ruth and her hubby. I was thinking it was someone else. I don't know. Okay. I might, I might glue it down a little bit. Oh, almost threw my scissors on the, on the ground. Just enough to hold it in place. I think I might. Just enough to hold it in place. And let's do this, this end piece here. All right, there we go. That's, yeah, it holds it nicely in place that way. There we go. All right, so now with our bottles, what I was going to do, and like I said, I don't know if I like these little, these ribbons. I don't know. If we do, I'll put it back on. I was thinking about, you know, instead of having a bow, maybe just, let me see something. Let me see about wrapping it. Let's see how that. Or let me see. Stick with me. Butterfly on that side, so we can bring it around. Hang on, let me, let me see. Thank 
I'm just playing here for a minute. Let's see. Go oh, for me. Ah. Maybe that's why they look so sloppy for them, too. They just don't want to cooperate. No smaller, it's too big. It's smaller. The tails don't want to. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just think this is too big and like ugh, out there. I, I was trying to make it smaller. All right, so it's the same, same design on the front and the back. So this one, like so. And then this one, I thought they were so pretty. Hmm. This only has the little whooshes on the front, but that's okay. We'll do it this way. Feels like I feel like it's tilting, and I don't know why. I feel like it's tilting. All right, so we got that. I just pulled these out because I wanted to see. No, they're too big. I have these. I got to figure out what to do with uh, the trucks. I don't have anymore. Anyway, so we're gonna clip these down. Or maybe we'll just have regular jute around it, or the color jute. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I don't want these too high out the jar, right? I want them to look. I want them to look. Somewhat normal. Oh, my goodness, that's hard. I just don't want to cut that wire in there. Really tough. Wow. Let's see. I might want them all loose. So, wow, that one flying across the room. Yes, I think I want it more like that. It's more feeling looking. I can push this out. Actually, I put those in the wrong jar. I want these in here this one has like pinky flowers in it a bit and bending out so there's flowers going pretty much every which way right so they there's that one, sort of. I feel like it's it is tilting. I don't know why. <sighs> I didn't. It's tilting for some reason. That's better. I don't know why it was tilting. 
It's making me a little cuckoo. Uh, this one has the blue blues in it. So I was going to do the blue ones in that one. Actually, I want to move these jars around because this one has a little bit different there, like so. Okay. Um, so the blues are in this one. Normal's overrated. No, Teresa, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day, but we're supposed to. They said it's supposed to rain all week, all, bleh, all weekend. So we'll see what happens. And now into next week, right up until like Wednesday or so. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Right? Okay, I picked the blue ones because this jar does have blues in it, blue on it. It's got like blue and purple. The butterflies are blue. And it's got some blue, white and blue flowers, kind of like these. All right, and then the last but not least, we've got... I'm trying to set it that you can see the designs equally. This one has got white flowers in it with the yellow, and that's what I had closest to this, to matchy-matchy. To matchy-matchy. So... Just gonna push up some of these leaves all the way and some just part of the way just to kind of stagger the leaves if I can. The leaves are like they fall all over the place. They don't they don't really stay. They're not tightly fitting on the on the flower stems. All right, now I know when I put them in the jar, the leaves are going to get pushed up. I wasn't thinking about that, was I? It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I thought this would be cute, like sitting in your, you know, in your kitchen window on your window seal type thing. That's what I was thinking when I got this. Now, let's see what we can do with these little ribbons, these little bows. I can get it off. Hmm. All right. Bring this around more so we can see. Into you, you know, wild, aren't you? Like falling all over the place. Why? Let's move you over to this side a little bit. I guess I need to get you in the jar, though. Come on. What is the deal? What's the deal? All right. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I don't want to tie it in a bow. Maybe I just want to tie it. Let me see what this is. If I can get it. To through here. Be nice to me. Do not fight me. I might just do that and put like, like a little 
some button or something on it. I don't know. I feel like it's hiding the design. I feel like it's hanging too low and it's hiding the pretty flowers. So back to the bow we go. Come on, if I can get it. Leaves are getting in my way, keep going up into my face that I can't see. They're blocking my view. I can't see because of the flowers. Sorry. Let me try this one again. This one is all twisted, which doesn't help the situation. Oh, I have a big old bumblebee bouncing off my window. I had, we had our uh, bushes all trimmed down and there was some wasp nests on the branch, on the, like the bush stems. Every year they come there and they hang there. I hate it. Oh, come on. I'm going to take these off in a minute and just say forget it. What I'm going to do. I think this is what I'm going to do. I really think this is the step. That ribbon is, is very stiff. It doesn't want to cooperate with you whatsoever. So I'm going to do this instead. Feel like I can have more control over this and that ribbon. Don't fall, please. Thank you. Blue right here. Scissors. Okay. 
Disturb on how does that curl get through? The, the spam thing, how did they get through my do not disturb? That's what I want to know. What I can do is I'll probably get hidden anyway, it's too big. I should have left this tie a little longer, a little sh short. I think that's a little better than these sloppy ones. I think that's a little better. We can, oh, you can use these for something else. They're just so stiff and hard. I like this better. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm going to leave this a little longer longer because I can always cut it off, right? Right. 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 I can't even see. You can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. Yeah, they sure did find a way through. And you know what? They've been calling since before 8 o'clock this morning. I keep blocking it, but of course, you know, they use a different number every time. You can block it as many times as you want, but they'll use a different number. Lately, they've been really bad. It's like, geez, leave me alone. And you call it back, and it says the number's not in service, or you just get a beep, 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 beep. And it's like really, they find ways of blocking you from getting through, but you can't block them from getting through. Okay, that worked out better. Got that string a little bit longer. Put a little, little bit of glue on that bow so it don't come off. And just a little bit of glue to hold the tails down. That looks better. I think that looks better to me anyway. I don't know. I think it's just more farmhouse she kind of just looks better to me. Loose strings now. All right. Let's get this one off. Fix this one. But when I seen these little jars at the Dollar Tree, I was like, oh, my word. I, they are so cute. I've got to figure out what to do with them. 
there's got to be something I can I can do with them. And well, this is what, what I come up with. I hope you guys liked it or like it. I'm going to put it right in my kitchen window. I just think it looks it's going to look so cute up there. Ah. That one kind of got a little bulky, didn't it? Scissors. They're so hard to get tight and even and pulling them and plugging them on. That's partly why I put blue on the bow because on the center of the bow because they don't want to go real tight sometimes and the glue helps hold it in place. On the wrong side. Come on, why are you fighting me? Please don't. Good gosh. Not going tight at all against there. All right, let go. We're going to make you fit tight, okay? And do it. So I watched, um, I watched uh, Sheila Craft for a little bit last night. Uh, simply, what is it? Sheila Simply Simple Creations or something like that. I used to watch her all. All the time but then once you start getting crafting you don't really get a chance to watch a whole lot of the a whole lot, lot of the uh, other crafters anymore it's sad but true so anyway she was showing how to make jute flowers and I believe I showed you all how to make jute flowers before there's that one. Oops, get up there. All right, so there's that one. Oops, I have the design facing you. Yeah, all right. So there we go. There's that. Now, now you could add other little things to it if you want. Um, I grabbed a little, little sticker thing that I had, but they were a little bit too big. So I was like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So I hope you really like that. I think it turned out cute. I think it turned. Oops, it turned out cute. There we. We have it. All right. Now, 
what I was saying about the jute flowers was she showed one that I have not seen before. So I thought I'm going to give it a try. So what it is, it's and 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 you could like she said make it into a pom pom if you made a bigger if you made a bigger one. So here's one that I made out of um, one of the ribbons I ordered from Timu. Okay, um, so you could put it, find the center, you know, flatten it out, right? If you wanted. It as a flower, you can flatten it out, just squish it around, flatten it out, and you could put a button in the center of it. But um, you have to be careful, you'd have to find if you because the stem is really thick, okay? So it would have to be like a flower that kind of sat on the edge, you know, and you could put a little button in there. So there's that. So then I was like, hmm, you know, I could cut some of that trim off my, uh, the end of it. So it's not so big and bulky. And then you could make a smaller one and you can make it thicker. I didn't wind this one as much as I did this one, you know. And I was going to add some in here, like, but... I was like, I don't know if that's too big or, you know, put little buttons or something inside. Anyway, so what I was going to show you real quick is you remember that ribbon I ordered uh, from Timu, this one here. So what I, this one I did, and I'm like, what am I doing? I made a mistake. So you see the ends here on it. it it's so went together in like four places. So for this little one, what I did was I I said, okay, I'm going to roll it, let's say, to here, okay? I cut the piece off. I made sure I cut in the center, all right? And it's attached on both sides, but you want this side if you use this ribbon, okay? And then what I did was, because I don't want that big fat end on it, I said, I'm going to cut off, and I'm going to cut in between the second and third one, because you got to have something to glue on so I thought I'm going to cut between the second and then third one and then that gave you the smaller but this, this time what I'm going to do I'm going to cut between the first and second one I just want to try it I'm going to show you all this this ribbon here you just got to try and make sure you don't cut the where it's sewing there because you need that edge to glue uh, attached to you need it to stay together you don't want it to come apart and i was like i can still use this piece i can still use that for something it's not going to waste so now you only have that one stitch you see it the one stitch over here so that's where you're going to put your glue you're going to put your glue on that one stitch. Just follow, follow that and don't do a whole lot. And you're going to roll it and try and roll it tight. Okay, watch your fingers. You might want to use uh, glue fingers here. So you, you're, you're just going to roll it. Try and keep it. Try and keep your fingers off the tip of the glue gun. But try and keep it that it's flat, you know, as you're rolling it. Okay, like just kind of use your scissors to push it, the end in, so it stays flat. Now I know with it being a little smaller, um, it's hard to get really tight, but do it as best as that you possibly can. I figured I'd show you all this real quick. Just try and do it as best as you can. And don't go too far with your glue um, at rolling it because your glue will your glue is going to dry out before you get to the get to the end of it. So just do little 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 uh, rolls at a time. Now you will get a couple that will fall off, and it's okay. It's okay. It's no big deal.
and it all depends on how big you want your flowers to be how bushy you want it to be on how long of a, a piece that you're going to roll you're going to roll like you want a great big, big one you're going to cut along now you can do this with regular jute as well okay um like the rolls of jute even the big rolls of jute the little rolls of jute that you get from the dollar tree they're going to be smaller and bigger depending on how wide you're like this this jute isn't very wide you know so it's not going to be a great big one all right so this is what we got now see it's all rolled together it's just in a roll now this blue Blue string here on top. I don't know if y'all can see it. Am I getting it in the camera? That blue string there. You see that blue string? All you gotta do is get a little piece of it, and you just pull it, and then it loosens all of these. It loosens all of those open, and you can open them all up. Now, see. You you can make a tassel if you may if if you can make it longer it will be you can make a tassel out of it or make mini tassels even but make this flower i just i just keep squashing it and squashing it right so there's the flower and there's the end that end is small see look now you could set it more flatter compared to the way these ones are up higher, especially this one. So you could set that, you know, if I want it to, I could maybe put in the corner here, put a little button on it, tilt it up, put a little button in there and, you know, set it there if I wanted to. But that's, you know, I just was going to show you all real quick. But this ribbon is from Timu, and with the when you do it with the jute, if you've seen me do it um, with the regular jute, you got to pull all the threads out. Um, let me see. I'm not going to make one, but I'm just going to try and explain it to you. So I got this the red jute, right? I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby or somewhere so you can make it depending on how if you got the wider jute you can make it it's going to be a lot wider right but when you do it with this type of jute what you got to do is you got to cut your end off because it's sealed don't cut this side off just cut your end off and you're going to pull out once you cut your end off you're going to pull all these in between you're going to pull them out and keep them you can use them if you wanted to you could use them to make a tassel or make different things and pull them all out but leave three or four on each end because then you're going to fold it over and you're going to glue it all along there and then you're going to roll it okay like i rolled that so it's a little bit different but you can get bigger sizes of flowers okay so i was just showing you with the timu one what one you could do with it with that and that's what i was thinking now i can't get this in here that's what i was thinking when i ordered that i didn't realize like i don't know i thought it was loops on the end i didn't realize it was um just straight i thought it was loops but it's okay so i can make a little flowers out of it you know and i can and i can still use it for like something else if i want like ribbon if i wanted to anyways and you can use this like i said there's nothing wrong with that it's not falling apart or anything you could still use that you know i could actually use that to go on there that probably would have looked nice on there i didn't even think of it anyway there's that just a little little something something that i was gonna show you maybe when she was doing it last night it made me think about this ribbon and trying it with this ribbon and i tried it this morning because i was like i want to see if it's going to work so yeah you see paint what you see paint dapper what do you mean uh Teresa what do you mean hon
I'm not sure what you mean. Clean my mess up as I'm saying goodbye. I hope you all have a wonderful, 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 wonderful Saturday. And I hope to catch you all tomorrow. Um, I should be here. <sighs> My husband is doing a second job. His second job now is, is I got to see where he's going to do work out of. Is he going to work out of this room, what he calls the office? I call it the spare room, computer room, whatever. And if he is, then I gotta move to I may have to uh work out of the dining room tomorrow. So that means I gotta move my crafts a lot of my craft supplies on whatever I decide to do up there. If he doesn't, if he decides to work out of the living room where it's quiet and he's got his laptop, he can hook up there, then I can stay in here and that's what I'm hoping he'll do. But that's here nor there. With that said. I will be on tomorrow. I'm just not sure what time. Um, so watch for your notices because I don't know what time his uh, class is. Basically, he works for a company that helps. He's a teacher, as you know. So he's subcontracting is the best way I can put it. He's private tutoring. Um, and he's helping them get their GED is what he's doing. He takes on clients and he helps them get their GED. They're not necessarily kids. A lot of them, majority of them are adults that want to get their, that never got their high school diploma or their GED or whatever and get back and get it. So, yeah, so he'll be working from home on the weekends. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess it could, right? It could, you could make, you know, you could make some really, oh, Teresa. I might try something. <gasps> oh, my, my gosh, Teresa. You just blew my mind. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys liked it. Have a great day. If you're having beautiful weather, go out, enjoy it, get some fresh air. Get out in the sun and the sun stay good for you. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let uh, Facebook get a shot of this. You know, I can't really see the pink one, can you? There we go. All right, you guys, be blessed. Take care and stay safe as always, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.